morning again. I'm your teacher, Balqis. Today we're going to learn the vocabulary of the text, which was under title, A Great Scientist. So let's start. Awake, it's the opposite of sleepy. Awake, it's an adjective. We say, Ahmed was awake when I returned from work. Collect is a verb, which means to go and get something from a particular place. For example, we say, Yesterday, Carmen collected her cousins from the airport. Discover. It's a verb too. That means to find something new. For example, we say, The doctors haven't discovered a medicine for coronavirus yet. Extremely. Extreme, extremely, it's an adverb which is stronger than very. For example, we say, It was an extremely hard exam for me. Genius, it's an adjective which means a smart, smart person. Bill Gates is a computer genius. Governess, governess, a woman who teaches the children of a rich family. For example, we say, Mary Curie worked as a governess. Wealthy. Wealthy is an adjective which means rich. For example, we say, I think he's wealthy. His house is beautiful. Tomb is a place where important people buried. It has the similar meaning of a grave. We say, for example, Mary Curie Tom is in France. Rest, it's the part left is left. It's the part that is left. For example, we say, Do you know the rest of the story? Remains is a formal noun used to refer to a dead body. For example, we say, The French government moved the remains of Marie in 1995. Prize. It's something that is given to the winner. For example, we say, Mary Curie won a, a Nobel Prize. Needy. Needy is someone who doesn't have enough food, enough clothes, enough money, etc. For example, we say, assistance to the needy was often left to wealthy people. Laboratory, it's a room that is used to do scientific researches. For example, we say, the doctors are discovering a medicine for coronavirus in the laboratory. Ill, it has the same meaning of sick. For example, we say, Tom looked ill yesterday. Government is a group of people who control a country. We say, the government should invest more money in education. 